My name is Lucy Cave and I'm Editor-in-Chief of The Heat Brand. My role has changed in line with the growth of The Heat Brand, so I'm no longer editor of just the magazine. The magazine is still very much the mothership of the brand, but I now work across all of our platforms and it's about growing our reach and speaking to our audience where it matters, when it matters. So we've got Heat TV, we've got Heat Radio, which broadcasts live from the office, which is an incredibly unique experience. We use all our Heat experts who are normally called upon by other TV and radio stations, um, so it's really engaged. When we have a celebrity coming in, uh, they'll be interviewed on the radio, then you'll be able to talk to them live on Heat World. Heatworld.com has grown massively. It's over 1.4 million uh, unique users now. We've got Heat TV, which was launched in July, and the Heat Extra app as well. So we're growing. We're speaking to over 4 million people per week. Rather than being frightened of new technology and social media, we've completely embraced it because it's meant that we can interact with our audience all the time and speak to them on different levels. So it's really interesting the way we have people speak to us on Facebook. It's more about diverting themselves from work and it's about the kind of mundane and the inane questions we ask them that get the most engaged. Like we got sent a massive Jaffa cake and I think we had about two thousand responses straight away just because they liked it. On Twitter it's very much about being part of people's lives throughout the evening when they're watching TV, when we're inside at celebrity parties, they expect us to be there all the time. If we're not watching Made in Chelsea with them, they're like, where are you? What are you doing? Why aren't you talking to us? So it's really kind of helped our kind of conversation with our readers and, and our influence as well because we're just very much their mate who's kind of talking and making them laugh in their ear. It means that when we're talking to them about a brand or we're talking to them about something that we might be doing commercially, it's kind of, it's less overt and, and it's more subtly influencing them. Um, I think there are a lot of celebrity magazines on the newsstand and the myth around uh, those magazines is whether he is one of those salacious celebrity magazines and it completely isn't. It's got entertainment and fun at its heart, at its core. Our USP is to make people laugh. Yes, we will tell the stories about celebrities only when they're honest and true and we will kind of pull celebrities up if they've done something wrong. But ultimately, we've got a really credible entertainment section. Um, you know, people like Ricky Gervais, James Corden credit the the opinion and the kind of reviews we gave their TV shows right at the beginning for their success and in return they're really loyal and engaged with us so they'll dress up in silly outfits for us you know James Corden dressed up as David Beckham um, we've had Louis Walsh dressing up as Cheryl Cole David Williams phones us all the time says oh can I dress up as One Direction this time and so we have got a very different set of friends of heat to the rest of the celeb market so we've got that credible talented set of celebrities who are kind of with us and along with the ride a trusted relationship yeah we've got loads of ideas um, brewing and we're just kind of actually quite desperate to work with like-minded brands and just making them fly so we've got um, we've embarked on uh, heat live which is uh, on the red carpet at events broadcasting and streaming live into our audiences living rooms so from events like the National Television Awards we had incredible engagement across heat world and YouTube uh, people were watching it for 45 minutes at a time which in kind of internet terms is unheard of because people always thought that you'll only watch little snippets on the internet but actually we're kind of making our own programs and there's lots of opportunities to get involved in that side of things because obviously it's red carpet it's access it's behind the scenes it's we're bringing people closer to those celebrities and you know there are all sorts of brands that could get involved on that level whether it's makeup or style um, or just entertainment brands thank you, thank you.